they said hot drinks and they said they want to ban them and send the bill to the National Assembly. We are here for them to revert that. They should follow Q as cigarette smokers. They put the advert there. If they close the chassis production, TUC is losing over 500,000 workers across the country. Yes. Compared to what is happening in the country now, the reality on ground, everybody knows the economic situation. They better withdraw that bill from National Assembly. If not, we will not agree. And that's why we are here. I want to tell the, the, the Director General of NAVDAC to kindly do himself, herself a favor to withdraw that bill from the... From, from we are not saying NAVDAC should not regulate, but regulate with human face. Yes. Yes. A situation whereby you regulate or deregulate and throw millions of Nigeria into abject poverty. Are you helping the government or creating more problems for the government? So if there are best global practices, NAVDAC should emulate from those best global practices, especially as it relates to recycling. And it is against this background that we are here to appeal to the DG to rescind her decision that have thrown thousands of Nigerian workers into, out of employment. I don't know what they would prefer. Would they prefer to have a pool of Boko Haram or kidnappers on the street rather than working people that can be coordinated? This is a peaceful protest. If nothing is done within a reasonable time, we will go back to the drawing board, we will mobilize and we will, we will come back. But this time around, we will ensure that all offices of NAVDAC nationwide do not work. Because you can't take food out of my table and expect that I will allow you to continue to work. We are going to give a reasonable time. Reasonable time in these circumstances is 14 working days. Within two weeks, if that obnoxious decision is not reversed, we will come back. But this time around, in coming back, we will ensure that we direct our state councils across the 36 states and the FCT to do the same thing in all NAVDAC offices, if they have offices. For workers to be on the street is going to increase the level of insecurity in the country. So as we all gather here today, it's because in union we say injury to one is injury to all. Even though we feel we are not affected, but somehow we will be affected. All workers in Nigeria have over 10,000 dependents, if you, if, you, if you calculate it very well. And when they are out of job, that means over 10,000 people around them or their society or community will also go hungry or go begging. I believe each and every one of us here standing are workers, and we all work to earn a living. So when your living is cut short, what are you supposed to do? So we are speaking to the conscience of this management in NAVDAC, to do something about the situation. If we are not able to create jobs, why are we taking the few ones that are available? We are saying no to this. They have said they are banning it because children are having access to it. I ask the question, have you seen any underage person that gets his or herself drunk and misbehave along the street? Have you seen one? The answer is no. It's just an excuse. And uh, they come up again to say, oh, it litters the environment. What is the, uh, the minister of environment doing? In the Western world, when you go there, you see that all the streets are clean. Is it that they don't generate this kind of waste? They do, but they manage them. Every bus station have trash bin where they dump these things and recycle them. And in the process of recycling, you are also creating jobs. And by the time you create jobs, you are taking people out of the streets. And then security will reduce. So we are saying, please save our jobs. Thousands are out of jobs as I'm talking to you. And we have been crying all this while that the Director General should rescind in her decision. Like we said earlier, we are not here to fight you, but to make a position that you are throwing this country into a monumental crisis, which should be avoided. I have noted your grievances. The Director General is not around now. She's on official assignment, but I assure you, according to lay down rules, I'm going to take the protest letter, which I'll pass on to her. I assure you that we have heard you. Like I said, you have come to the right place. This is the People's House, the People's Parliament. Continue to be peaceful and will definitely convey uh, your messages and your demands. Uh, embrace dialogue.
which the house is always happy to facilitate.